Well, I went up into the attic today, got a couple of my mammoth steam engines down. Been up in the attic for a while and moved house. They got put up there for storage. So I thought today I'd get them down, out steam up the roller anyway, which wasn't very successful because I didn't have any methylated spirits, so I used white spirits, which uh, smoked a bit. And of course, there's smoke staining on the on the blue and some of me let her in come off which was only stickers but it's very black underneath on the canopy which was white but that's fine we'll clean that up it's gonna get um get discolored anyway from the methylated spirits but and also didn't have any decent drive bands but i have had it running on steam which will Put it at the end of this video but this one very much modified it has water tank just purely um a dummy one and it has steering which actually works which we're quite pleased about it's got lamps and scrapers and made a little dummy scarifier on the side um I've done lots of stuff to this. Um, it's a 1970s steamroller, but yeah, that was my first foray into miniature steam. It actually looks alright. Still looks alright. It's had a few steams and it's been up in the attic for a good long while, but yeah, it worked well. But just a shame I didn't have any drive bands to get it actually running around. Also made a little water bowser for it which is quite pleased about that was an old scaffolding tube that I uh, cut and painted and fitted an axle to it and yeah turn the steamroller around again got the hitch for it on the back these so that was my first one that I did I've got a couple more up in the attic. One's going to be a showman's engine when I get around to finishing it. I've got a black road loco that just needs putting back together. And I also made this crane from a Mammoth traction engine that can hold it so it doesn't roll off this table. But yeah, I, made, I haven't seen this one yet, but because I need to uh, get some new O rings for the safety valve and whistle and water filler plug so i haven't had it in steam yet but hopefully soon i will but yeah i made the jib pulleys it should work really well so if i start turning this you can see i'll take that from off see hook going down so yeah that should work well there's a lot of meccano parts on this which is quite good because it's kind of same era as well, 70s Meccano bits and 70s Mammoth traction engine turned into a steam crane. Turn it. I also made this shortened canopy for it. But yeah, there we go. Go into some further details on another video if, if there's any interest in people out there want to see how I did, want to know how I did it. But yeah, that's my that was my last one I did, and probably my best. Well, it looks good, it should steam all right and work all right. But yeah, there we go. So that's my mammoths. Well, a couple of them anyway. Got three more. Got another roller to do up, and like I said, a uh, showman engine to finish, and a road logo to put back together. That's finished. I just put some. Um, I converted the, uh, the crank to have proper bronze bearings like on my steamroller. You can see in here, there, those are actually brass uh, bronze bearings in there. It runs a lot better because this one was worn out and it was knocking quite a bit. So I drilled that out, reamed it, put the bearings in. Now it runs really nicely, which you'll see at the end of this video. So, 
stay tuned for more mammal stuff. I know I've done a lot of, well, pretty much all of the videos I've got at the moment are my roundhouse Katie, but hopefully get some of these videos done about mammals. So thanks for watching. See you again.